This is marijuana, and it has a lot of different names around the world. You've probably heard some of these, and you probably haven't. Names like weed, grass, tree, cannabis, and hash, which is the processed version of marijuana. Marijuana has a long history, and it first began in the Middle East. One of the oldest parts of history that used marijuana were the Hashashins or the assassins in the Middle East. But when you turn the clock forward, the history of weed got really famous in the United States. Marijuana got really well known in the year 1970 when the US made it a tier one illegal drug. And if you were caught with it, it was no different from crack cocaine. What the US government did made the people around the world pay attention to this drug and see why the government banned a plant. Since the year 1970, marijuana has gained a lot of popularity around the world, not just the US. When the US criminalized marijuana, they really took it seriously. And some say they took it more serious than crack cocaine users. They said anyone that has weed is a criminal. Anyone that uses weed is a criminal. Even if they take it to a laboratory to do research on it, they're a criminal. The government didn't even allow pharmaceutical companies to do research on marijuana to see if it's good for anything. The government was so strict about marijuana selling and usage that the other drugs weren't taken as seriously and they were considered the tier two drug. In the 1980s, if you were caught with marijuana, it would be way more strict than getting caught with cocaine. And that's why it's considered a joke now. They say this guy went to jail for 20 years for having some weed on him, but this guy had the same amount of cocaine and he went to three years in prison. But the US laws made a lot of cartels to be born with it. People like Pablo Escobar were found in the 80s and sold billions of dollars worth of cocaine to the US. And this is in a way where the US police is mostly concerned about marijuana. Time passes and eventually around the world, scientists do research on this plant and they slowly realize that marijuana is not that bad and they don't know why the governments are so strict about it. A lot of countries decriminalized weed and the US realized that it's been too hard on marijuana usage and they allowed medical marijuana to be used. Right about now, since the US government was so strict about cannabis that not a lot of research was done to it to see the effects on the human. And this is terrible compared to other drugs that has been tested. And that is why you can't 100% say what marijuana does to your body and brain. Scientists have began the research and they realized that marijuana, cannabis, grass or tree or whatever name you like does this to the brain. It amplifies some of the brain signals and it slows down some of the signals. When we say it slows down some of the signals, we're not saying it makes you stupider or makes our thought process slower. Like for example, scientists say it slows down the brain signal for the sense of smell and that slowing down makes your smell stronger. There are two parts to marijuana. One of those is THC and the other is CBD. The THC part is responsible for the psychoactive part of the brain and it activates that. But the CBD effects are all non-psychoactive. It always depends on the user what kind of effects weed has on you. Some people have a positive experience and some have a negative. So it seems like a good drug. What's the problem? The most important problem is the user's age. The effects of weed on a person under 25 is much more stronger than someone over 25. Scientists believe that if a person under 25 frequently uses marijuana, it's gonna have negative effect on their brain. First of all, it makes learning harder for them. Forgetfulness would be normal and it will also make them more emotional. And that means they get sad easily, they get angry easily, 
and they get happy easily. Just like we said, scientists say that if you use marijuana a lot, it makes it harder for you to learn new things and it makes problem solving more difficult. The younger the user, the more effects weed has on them. Like for a 15 year old, the effects are much more negative than a 22 year old. Another negative thing about cannabis is that if someone starts smoking at a young age, they're going to be much more used to smoking every day. And that makes it harder to quit later in life. If you start smoking at a later age, it's going to be much harder for you to get addicted to it. And another thing scientists say is that if a young person smokes at an early age, they grow up with it and that makes it harder for them to let it go. Some scientists believe that marijuana usage are terrible for some people and some say it might even develop schizophrenia and we've made a video on that. But this has never been proven and some scientists say that if a person were to have schizophrenia, they were going to get it later in life if they smoke weed or if they didn't smoke weed. So the use of marijuana did not cause schizophrenia to be born. The thing that scientists are certain of is that if a person is older and they start smoking, the effects are much less than a young person. We said it's not good for young people, but why is it being legalized all around the world now? In the US, a person can buy marijuana if they're over the age of 21. And that's the same for cigarettes and alcohol. But what are the good things that come out of marijuana? This has been proven that if someone has pain problems, arthritis, or other old pains, it will help them out tremendously. And even doctors suggest older people to use marijuana for their pain. They either use the plants or eat edibles like cookies or even candies. Other things that come out of marijuana is CBD oil. This helps people that have pain, so they rub it up on the area and the pain goes away. So is weed good or bad? It all goes back to the user. If they're young, it's bad for them. But if you're 50 years old and have back pain, it will help you out and make your life easier because it can help you get rid of an old pain. And the effects of marijuana are much less negative than like a painkiller or opium or alcohol. But as you know, Marijuana has been illegal for a long time and they just recently started doing a lot of research on it. We might figure out in a few years that this is terrible for us or we might find out it's really good for us. Either way, the research are gonna give us some answers. But unfortunately, just like a lot of things, there are evil people out there and around the world they mix marijuana with different drugs like cocaine and sell it to people. And this causes people to get more addictive and buy more. But it's very dangerous when they mix the weed. And the video topic that we talked about today is about pure marijuana, not the ones that they touch. If you have any information about marijuana usage, please leave a comment.